What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'll be showing you guys how to remove and replace your sliding door lock. Now this one here doesn't work anymore, giving the owner a bit of problems. So rather than trying to repair it, this one's old so it's time for, to replace it with a new one. So we've got here a Wicco lock, okay. This one's a good quality, um, slightly different design. However, most of them are pretty generic in terms of installation. So hopefully shouldn't give us too much grief. Let's get started. Like everything, it's always easy to pull everything apart. Very hard to put it back together. So we'll pull this apart quickly and then we'll run through how we're gonna install it. First things first, screw on either side. Okay, there's one on the bottom over here. One on the other side. Face plate should come straight off. So that's these covers off. Try to put all your rubbish in one place. All right, next thing, a couple screws on the face here. So undo all of them. That's done. All right, next thing you want to do is pull out this cylinder lock. So in order to get the cylinder lock out, you want to use the keys. So this one here at the moment is only working on one side. Now if you haven't got the keys and that's why you're replacing the lock in the first place, there's a trick to getting these um, barrel locks or cylinder locks, whatever they're called, to get them out without having to use your keys. And that's for another video once I get that sorted. Um, once I do that video, I'll put it in the description below so that you guys can check it out because that's a lot of times people are replacing it simply for that reason. All right, so turn that and that simply comes out just like that. So with these locks, the reason why it's very difficult to get out without the key is as the key is out so it'll be sitting in their lock engaged in this position okay which means you won't be able to pull it out so if we have a look it'll be sitting in there just like that the wing would be catching onto the actual body and you won't be able to pull it out either way until you put the key in and turn this lock back around the other way like i said that's for another video so once that's done the body comes out just like that so this is basically the lock itself all right Put that on the side, time to open up the new one. All right, so once you open that up, set of keys, the new face plates, and also your lock. Rip that open, your new body. All right, set of screws, and a few other bits and pieces. So we'll get everything open and put it out on the floor so I can get it as I need it. While you're waiting, you might as well subscribe. Yeah, that's right, subscribe. Anyway, so that's a new lock, okay. Straight back in where we got it from, okay. That should fit straight back in just like that. So what we're gonna need, firstly, is a small screw top and bottom hold that in place all right so if we have a look over here these are the two screws that i'm talking about looks just like that all right so very small screws the point at the end of it okay so that's a good indicator that that's the one going into the steel all right so let's get these ones in Next thing is our lock. So this is the lock here, nice and shiny, beautiful one. All right, if we were to turn the key, you can see that that actually turns that body around, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, so to feed this in, when you're facing the lock, okay, the section where the wing comes out, so over here, 
see if that can focus. All right, so this bit here, that faces to the outside of the door. So exactly the way that I'm sitting right now, I'm standing, goes in like that. So flick that back into place, slide your body into place, and sit that in the middle. Get your key, while it's in the middle, turn it over, and that'll lock into place just like that. Next thing you'll need, is this long screw. This is the longest screw in your kit. Okay, flat end. All that's doing is gonna sit up against the body of the lock. So it'll be sitting in just like this, okay? And that's simply gonna thread into there. That's gonna hold the lock in place so it's not wobbly and flimsy. So that'll give it nice support. All right, so that screw goes in the middle. That's it, just like that. All right, now we get this one here out of the way. Now, a lot of times, this is what's gonna be the most common occurrence. Um, if you have a look here, you've got this little section here that needs to sit inside. Just adjust this for you guys. All right, so this is how it's gonna sit. It's gonna sit flush up against like that, all right? But the problem we've got here is the other lock is a different size. So if you have a look, the top hole's fine. Okay, so that's the hole right there where the um, lugs go into. Okay, but if we have a look at that bottom one, you can see that there's not enough clearance. So I won't be able to get that one into place just like that. It won't sit in place. So what we have to do is drill this little bit of metal out here. So what I use is just a regular drill bit. Okay, however, this one here, little special drill bit. I also have to do a video on this. This one here is a side cutter. So what I mean by a side cutter is if I'm to drill a hole into something, I can actually put pressure on either direction and cut however I like. So if I had a bit of timber, I could cut a circle into it simply by drilling a hole and putting the drill all the way around. This one here is gonna need a video on its own. But anyway, this is what I'll be using um, just to simply clear that out. So I'll see if I can get a good angle on it. All right, so all I'm doing, drilling this through. All right, just enough clearance, that's all we need. Now I'll make sure I go through the other side. Once that's done, that's what it looks like. All right, so now it's all clear, nothing in the way. All right, so these doors come both left and right-handed, so you can flip them around to suit either side. This side here faces the outside of the door, okay, so the edge of it there. That lip there is your handle, so that's gonna allow you to pull it and push it. Okay, so this one will be sitting on the inside, so we'll also put this little locking mechanism on the inside also. All right, so that one there is ready to go. That'll be able to sit straight into place now. So if we put that one in like this, if it's perfect, adjust the camera again, sorry. And then back on the other side. All right, so that's back in place. Now, another issue, there's always an issue, so these are the two screws that are supposed to hold the body together. So if we have a look here. Okay, so this one here was the old one. So if you imagine the door sitting in between, okay, this is supposed to screw in. Now the screws that I've got, okay, are a lot shorter than this. This door here is actually a wider or a thicker door than the old, um, than, the, than the lock that I got. So the lock that I have, is a standard size this door here is not a standard size so the screws that i've been provided with are too short so they won't even catch so what i've done i've purchased some other screws these ones here are m4 screws so the same as the ones that i've got however they're about five mil longer okay so we're just going to be using these instead in case you guys are out there and get stuck so put this screw into place That's now in place. Next thing you want to do 
is adjust your lock so this one here is the catch for the lock okay the old one won't fit the new style so that's the old one here simply pop that one out put this one in place once you've adjusted it test your door make sure it catches make sure it locks unlock perfect so there you have it guys that's how to remove your old screen door lock install a new screen door lock hope you guys enjoyed the video if there's anything else you guys want to learn how to do in or around your house put it in the comment section below and i'll be happy to show you guys how to do it don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time i'm bill thanks for watching bills how to